Hello and thank you for joining us for this week's track guide in association with Kirith Esports and welcome to anybody on Kirith's channel watching this video. We are at Circuit de Barcelona here for Daily Race C in the Group 4 cars. It's 10 laps and we're on racing hard tyres. It does mean there's no real strategy with this except for when you're going to pit. So when you go into the pits make sure you select do not change tyres and do not refuel because you're not going to need them um, in pretty much any car as far as I can see. The car I've gone with for qualifying is the Subaru WRX and we've got brake balance at plus four, so that's four to the rear. You can also use the Megan Trophy if you like, but the Subaru definitely seems to be the fastest car for qualifying. So uh, let's get into the lap guide and break it all down. Here we go with the lap guide then. And if this video does help you or you enjoy it, then please do drop a like and consider subscribing. It really helps with keeping these videos coming. The first brake marker we're looking out for is just in between the black signal lights and the 100 board, so braking about halfway between those. Staying out on the kerb here, into third, then turn in and get your right tyre just over that little sausage kerb on the inside. It's then flat out through here, again get your tyre just over that little sausage kerb. Come out to the left so that you've got room to then turn in and a bit of a lift just to keep the car as close to this kerb on the right hand side as you can. Uh, but don't lift for too long, you're going to get straight back on the power and you see you've got plenty of track to run off on. Uh, next braking marker is just before the bridge, so just before you go under there, getting down to third gear and aim for the kerb on the inside. You can get on the power really early, the car's just going to grip and pull you around, so you can see I start accelerating when I'm still about halfway around the corner. Next brake marker is some black tyre marks on this kerb. We're braking about halfway along those, down to third initially, but then as you start turning in, shift to second to help the rotation. But again, you can get on the power really early here, and you'll be in third gear before you hit the exit kerb on the right. So we'll be in third by the time that we get into there. Next, we are looking out for the start of the kerb on the right-hand side, braking on there, but quite quickly trail braking down. Keep it in third and feed the power in as soon as you touch this kerb on the left hand side. You do not want your left tyres to go over the red and white kerb on the right here, so don't let that happen or you'll get a penalty. And for this corner here it's just a lift and then again as soon as your tyres touch the kerb on the right you can start feeding the power in and make sure you don't uh, let your right tyres go over the red and white kerb on the exit there or again that will be a penalty. Next brake marker is the signal light just here in between the 150 and the 100 board so you can see there's a sort of black signal box on your right. Heavy braking on that, down to second gear, clip the inside of this kerb and you want to feed the power in very aggressively again. Flat out and cut a little bit of this kerb here on your left but then as soon as you leave that just a dab of brake to keep the car in and tucked to the right hand side here. You can use second just to rotate the car for a moment if you need to but you can also keep it in third. And then once again I'm looking at the tyre marks here, so I'm braking at the start of the tyre marks and turning in really early, initially in third but then a bit of second to help rotate the car, shift back up to third gear for the acceleration though, then a dab of brake just after you come through the shadow from the billboard above you, down to second, eat this sausage kerb up and then accelerate heavily over the next one, you see I do just a little lift as I go around there and then shift to third gear. On that final kerb there, you cannot let your right tyres go over the red and white kerb or again you'll get a penalty, uh, either half a second or a second. So, hope that helps you out. We'll let the lap guide play out in full speed here and uh, again please do drop a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Thanks very much.